Well, part of my interest in this comes from working in advertising for many years, so I'm quite able to note propaganda and propaganda techniques. And uh, it seemed odd to me that the consensus studies kept coming up with a 97% figure, and all of them came up with that figure. If you know anything about Robert Cialdini's work on social proofs, you'll understand that a social proof is something that's meant to work on your herd mentality and exclude those who disagree. Vested interests and professional positioning have led a long-term attack on dissenting views on climate change. Various psychological intimidation tactics have been employed, like name-calling, bullying, to denigrate and isolate researchers whose views and research dispute the findings of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change reports. In most areas of science, new perspectives are welcomed and discussed in a collegial manner. As an author of this study, I examine the case study of a recent peer-reviewed paper in climate science called Seepage, Climate Change, Denial, and Its Effect on the Scientific Community by Lewandowski, Ureskes, and Italia, in which uh, disparaging words have infiltrated peer-reviewed works, thus becoming officially condoned as an acceptable part of the scientific language. And it creates a powerful, inappropriate precedent that endorses name-calling. If so, this infiltration of the terms climate change denial and contrarian would set a peer review precedent that would create a psychological and socioeconomic threat to dissenting researchers in a field intended to be open to inquiry. According to the National Academy's press publication called On Being a Scientist, Responsible Conduct in Research, uh, we are told that Science has progressed through a uniquely productive marriage of human creativity and hard-nosed skepticism, of openness to new scientific contributions, and persistent questioning of those contributions and the existing scientific consensus. This Code of Conduct document was produced by the Committee on Science, Engineering, and Public Policy of the National Academy of Sciences the National Academy of Engineering, and the Institute of Medicine. The American Association for the Advancement of Science is the largest such scientific body in the world, and it represents 24 disciplines. Its slogan is Advancing Science, Serving Society, and it offers a code of conduct document entitled Scientific Freedom and Responsibility by John T. Edsel, 1975, which states one of the basic responsibilities of scientists is to maintain the quality and integrity of the work of the scientific community. Ideally, it is an open community. All findings should be publicly and generally available and open to criticism, improvement, and, if necessary, rejection. Thus, it is concerning to read a recently published peer-reviewed paper entitled Seepage Climate Change Denial and Its Effect on the Scientific Community by Lewandowski, Oreskes, et alia, 2015, published in the Elsevier Journal, Global Environmental Change, that begins with the statement, opponents of the scientific consensus on climate change have often emphasized uncertainty to forestall mitigative action. This statement is a sweeping generalization that is the hallmark of propaganda, not science. It appears to contradict a fundamental statement of the codes of conduct of the NAS and the AAAS. We use this paper, Lewandowski et Alia, 2015, as a case study to explore the implications of the derogatory language employed, now inherently endorsed by the scientific peer-reviewed community through the publication of this paper. And we review the corresponding impact on the scientific community.